Well, from community to her Emmy nominated turn on a black lady sketch show, Yvette Nicole Brown lights up everything she's in. Now that includes the delightful world of Frog and Toad, where she lends her voice to Rabbit. Watch this. Hello, Toad. <clears throat> Rabbit. This is a delicious smelling cake you have right here, and uh, you might need someone to try it for you. Very important to make sure a cake like this tastes as good as it smells. Oh, I would love to give you a taste, Toad, but this cake was baked for a very special day. Very special day? What very special day is it for? Tuesday. Well, and Wednesday's a very special day here with Yvette. Welcome, Yvette. Good Thanks to see you. Thanks for having you. me, honey. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> nice and to I, see you. And I love the, the Frog and Toad series. This is based on the book series. Mm -hmm. How much of this series did you know kind of going into this? All of it. When, you you know, this is, and they were the I Can Read books, so they were books that came out when you were like five or six, and it helped yes. you read. So I learned to read watching, reading uh, Frog and Toad. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. And I'm, I read them to my kids mm -hmm. now, too, so I'm so glad the series is. I'm sure they'd rather watch it than read it. <laughs> but... Frog and Toad kind of have this opposites attract mm -hmm. kind of friendship. So where does Rabbit fit into this scenario? Well, you know, I didn't know Rabbit was as sassy as she is until I watched the show. I said, well, she got a little edge to her. <laughs> she's kind of a bit of a mother hen, I would say, and she's kind of on the periphery, kind of t making sure everybody's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and so Toad is more of the homebody. Mm -hmm. Frog, you know, likes a little adventure, yes. likes to get out there. Are you more Frog or for, more Toad? Oh, I'm definitely um, I'm an introvert. I'm always at home. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I like to be inside. Yeah. I like people to bring stories back from the front. Tell me what happened out there. Go on and text me and tell me. It's nice to get out there Absolutely. once in a while, but I think the priority is Absolutely. is nesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, the series has this kind of like this slow, rhythmic, mm -hmm. like calming thing to it. When you were doing, because I was watching it and I was thinking, I could take a nap. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it's really soothing. Did yes. you feel that when you were working on Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And you know what? It's a show for children, but at the same time, there's little nits, little bits and things in there that for adults and so I think sometimes the soothing nature is for the for the adults so go on let the kids learn something go on take a little nap yeah yeah just go yeah. on lay back a little bit <laughs> I love it, it subliminally I like it I like <laughs> it so you're also gonna be starring in a new series um Act Your Age yes it's with Kim Whitley and Tisha, Tisha Campbell. Campbell yes who I adore amazing oh my god but it's like um what is it like when the three of you get together, first of all? Um, uh, shenanigans, ballyhoo, and foolishness. Uh, we are three fools that are just living it up, enjoying this time together. And um, I'm learning a lot from them. They started yeah. in the industry a little bit before me. And so I liked, I believe in stealing from the best. Yeah, So I watch them do something, some physical comedy or the way they turn a phrase. And I go, I'm going to steal that. So it's been that kind of adventure. And we have nine more episodes coming out June 3rd. We did our first seven aired, and then we took a little break for the NBA. Then we're coming back with nine more June 3rd on Bounce it. TV, guys. We read an article article recently about that it said that most people feel like their mental age mm -hmm. is older is younger than younger. their calendar age. Mm -hmm. What is your mental age, do you think? You know, some would say three. But <laughs> I, think, I think my sweet spot is about 17, because I feel like when I was 17, I felt like I was old enough to know some things, but still young enough to get away with some things. So I'm yes, going to say 17. Yes. That is a good time. That's a good time. I don't think I was smart enough at 17. Yeah, though. we always think we are, though. That's the thing we about always, 17. We yeah, always you think, think we you know are. everything. Yeah, yeah but you're, you're returning to um, Black Lady Sketch Show, I am. too. I am. I mean, what is it like to be part of that world? It's it's amazing. It's their fourth season. It's airing now, and I this is be my third time coming back as Judge Anita Harper, and that's where I got my Emmy nomination from yes. that show. Robin Thede has created an amazing opportunity for Black funny women to shine in a thousand different ways, and uh, it's been it's been a joy. And it's it's like open season. Bring all your jokes, do all your silliness, and yeah. everybody celebrates each other, kind of like how it is on Act Your Age as well. Yeah, I love that each one of those three projects yeah. is so different. Right? Yeah, that feels like it must be just like a, a blessing as an actor. I, I, I call myself Forrest Gump. All the time. It's like Bill was just talking about it. You find yourself in a situation. You're like, how did I get here? Yeah. That is my life. I can't believe I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm in New York. All of this is just magical. So I love it. Yeah, I pitch I myself it. all the time. It's so nice to have you here. Mm -hmm. And you look fabulous. Thank you, I so love you. the whole look today. Thank you. All right, well, Frog and Toad premieres on Apple TV Plus this Friday. So check it out. Get the kids. Watch it together. Maybe feel a little nap after. <laughs>